from this expressions we are going to draw the logic diagram so how many inputs you are having two inputs so first input a so you take like this and you are having inverted terms complementary literal a bar you are having similarly b bar you are having so you take an not gate So this line will give a bar and this line will give a similarly you take another input b now first a bar b so from here you take one a bar b so here this is b so you take here so this is an AND operation, so it can be implemented by using AND. Then A B bar. So A B bar. Both things they are ORD. So you connect it to a Okay, so this is sum. So implementation of this uh, half adder by using and and or gates. Now, second thing is carry we have to implement. So carry is nothing but expression for carry is A and AB. AB is can be implemented by using carry so so we have implemented sum and carry by using gates but this expression a b bar the expression a a bar b plus a b bar is similar to the expression of xor gate so it is similar to the expression of xor gate so we can directly we can implement by by using xor gate so you take two inputs a b and if you give to an xor gate you'll be getting sum that is we can write it as a xr b similarly carry how you can draw means you take from a and b you take and if you connect it to an and gate you get carry okay sum and carry so first what i have drawn is nothing but the implementation using and or gates next one is xr gate so this is implementation of your half adder using and and or gates this is implementation of your uh, half adder using uh, xor and xr and and gate okay next uh, uh, nand implementation nand nand implementation sometimes they will ask the question implement the half adder using only nand gates so in order to draw the half adder using nand gates what you have to do is first you have to implement the circuit by using um, and or gates that is the first diagram what you have drawn so first one thing you have to re, uh, remember if you want to implement anything in NAND gate the expression should be in the 
the expression should be in and or or in other words you must have and or your expression should be in and or or your uh, diagram must have and and or gates okay now here we have modified this circuit actually here you are having both and gates and as well as or gates so in the carry you are having only and gates and you are having no or gates but for simplification or the general rule is if you want to implement anything in nand nand implementation your expression should be in um, and or so here you are not having or so what you are doing is you are taking the output of this and gate and you are giving to both the inputs of your or gate so you know that a plus a is a here you are having a b so that a b you are giving to both the inputs of this or gate so a b plus a b is nothing but a b plus a b is nothing but a b so the meaning is not changing okay so we are adding one or gate to the output of this and gate in order to make it in the form of and or <clears throat> now so we have drawn like that next step what you have to do is you have to add bubbles to the output of nand gate you have to add bubbles to the output of nand gate and you have to put bubbles to the input of or gate so you have to put bubbles to the output of nand gate and you have to put bubbles to the output of or gate so you are you are putting two bubbles the and uh, the bubbles are inverters so you know that a double bar is nothing but a so if you invert anything twice you will be getting the same time say the same thing so we are inverting the output twice so you will be getting the same so then what we are doing is by de morgan's law we know that a bar plus b bar is equal to a into b the whole bar a bar plus b bar is equal to a into b the whole bar this is nothing but or gate with the inverted inputs this can be replaced by nand gate so here we have replaced the <coughs> or gate with in inverted inputs with the nand gate similarly the inverter here inverter in instead of the inverter here you have used nand gate so this is nothing but inverter by using nand gate so instead of ordinary uh, not gate we have used uh, ordinary not gate you have replaced this not gate by <coughs> nand gate this nand gate act, act as an inverter so finally we got the <coughs> circuit with only nand gates so how many <coughs> nand gates you are requiring for half adder 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 nand gates for half adder so we have implemented the circuit by using only nand gate so similarly now we are going to see the implementation of half adder using nor gates so previously we have uh, studied how to implement the half adder using um, nand gates but uh, now we are going to using nor gates so in order to if you want to implement anything in nor gates then the expression should be in or and so in if you want anything you want to implement anything in nand gates then it should be in and or but if you want to implement anything in nor then the expression should be in 
or and so what we are doing is we are having the sum expression and uh, uh, carry expression in sop so or and means pos so we have to convert this to pos or you for converting it to or and or, or pos what we have to do is we have to take the complement of sum so in order to take the complement of sum what you have to do means if you are having a complemented literal you you uncomplemented it if you are having a product you make it as plus or or if you are having an a true literal you complement it and if you are having a plus you change it into an and operation and if you are having true literal you complement it so this is nothing but you are uh <clears throat> complement of sum so this expression is in uh, or and so similarly the carry so we have taken the complement so we have got, uh, got a bar plus b bar so now we are going to draw similar to the previous one you take two inputs uh, a and you take two inputs a and b so this is a and this is b so first one is a plus b bar so plus you use or gates next one a bar plus a bar plus b then what you are doing is you are handling both so you are you give it to an and gate so this is nothing but some bar so carry bar is nothing but a bar plus b bar so a bar plus b bar okay so already i have told you that so the expression should be in or and but here you are having only or gate so you add an and gate so if you give the output of this or gate to both the inputs of the and gate you will be getting the same thing next to what you have to do is to the you have to complement trace that is you have to add bubbles to the output of or gate and input of and gate so you have to put bubbles to the output of or gate and to the input of and gate so if you invert or if you take complement twice then you will be getting the same variable so since we are complementing twice since we are complementing twice the value will not change so we are uh, <coughs> replacing replacing um, it with the nor gate similarly here also we are replacing with the nor gate but here what you are getting is some bar so if you want to get some you have to add one more inverter by using nor gate so only you will be getting some here also you add one more nor gate so you will be getting carry so we'll be getting a carry similarly you can uh, replace this not gates by nor gates nor gates by using uh, this not gates by using nor gates so you'll be getting the circuit by uh, with all nor gates so in this particular uh, implementation this the output what you are getting here it is complemented twice here you are getting the output that output is again count these two are inverters so this circuit also same even if you are not drawing these two also the thing is say uh, correct okay this is implementation using not 
next we are going to see full adder so now already we have studied half adder so now we are going to study full adder so full adder is a combinational circuit which performs addition of three bits so the half adder performs the addition of two bits full adder will perform the addition of three bits so it has three input and two outputs the two outputs are sum and carry sum bit and a carry bit are the outputs and the three inputs are x is augment y is add and and z is previous carry it is having three inputs that is x y and z x is augment y is add and and z is previous carry if you want you can take it as a b c also no problem so here i have taken x y and z okay x is augment if you are adding 5 plus 3 if you are adding 5 plus 3 5 is called augment and 3 is called add and okay so it is having three inputs augment add and and previous carry now truth table so we are going to see the truth table so i yeah, already have told that it is having three inputs x y and z and it is having two outputs sum and carry so our uh, two table must have how many columns 1 2 3 4 5 five columns our two table must have five columns so three inputs and two outputs and the two outputs are sum and carry and the three inputs are x y and z so since we are having three inputs we will be having eight combination the eight combination are 0 to 7 so first we have to write from 00 to 7 111 000, 000 that how we are writing is you write 4 to 1 for three bits you write 4 to 1 for four bits 8 4 to 1 so for 4 to 1 for 0 you write as 0 0 for 1 the below the 1 you put 1 next for 2 below 2 you put 1 next to 1 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 you put 1 the place of 2 and 1 next 4 is you put 1 in the place of 4 5 means 4 plus 1 is 5 So in the place of four and in the place of one, you put five. Then six, four plus two is six. One, one. Then put zero. Seven means four plus two plus one, seven. So one, one, one. So similarly, we have written from zero to seven. We have written. Now we are going for addition. First zero plus zero plus zero zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is zero zero. Next zero plus zero plus one zero plus one plus sorry sorry zero plus zero plus one zero plus zero is zero zero plus one is one. So sum is one and carry is zero. Next zero plus one. Plus zero. That is zero plus one plus zero. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. So sum is one and carry is zero. Next is zero plus one plus one. Zero plus one plus one. Zero plus one is one. One plus one is one zero. Zero is sum and one is carry. Zero is sum and one is carry. Then one plus zero plus zero, one plus zero plus zero. That is one plus zero is one. Again one plus zero is one. Sum is one. Carry is zero. Then one plus zero plus one, one plus zero plus one, one plus one zero. Again one plus one one zero. Sum zero, carry one. Then one plus one plus zero. One plus one plus zero. One plus one is one zero. One zero plus zero is one zero. 
So sum is 0 and carry is 1. Next one, 1 plus 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1. Sum is 1. Carry is 1. So we have written the sum truth table. So <coughs> another way of writing this truth table is if you are having only one once, sum is 1 and carry is 0. If you are having two ones, sum is 0 and carry is 1. If you are having three ones, both the sum and if you are having three ones, then sum and carry are 1. Once again, I will tell. If you are having no ones, both are 0. If you are having only one, sum is 0, carry is, sorry, sum is 1 and carry is 0. And if you are having two ones, sum is 0 and carry is 1. And if you are having three ones, both the sum and carry are 1. So, already, so we have written the two table. Next one is, we have to go for Boolean reduction. So, for Boolean reduction from this two table, this input indicates how much variable came up we have to draw and this output indicate how many came maps we have to draw input indicates how much variable came up we have to draw and output indicates how many came maps we have to draw so here you are having three inputs and two outputs it indicates that you have to draw two three variable k maps you have to draw two three variable k maps you have to draw now you have to, one is for sum another one is for carry one is for sum and another one is for carry now <clears throat> this is nothing but the binary values the decimal values are this input are 0 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7. So, for sum 1, 2, 4, 7. 1, 2, 4, 7. You are having 1. Similarly, for carry for carry you are having this is 3 3 5 6 7 so for sum you are having ones for for 0 0 1 you are having 1 for 0 1 0 that is 2 you are having 1 similarly 1 0 0 for you are having 1 then for 7 you are having 1 Similarly, carry you are having for 3, 5, 6, 7. So, we are we, uh, from this table, we, have to, we, we know that we have to draw two, three variable K maps. So, we have drawn two, uh, three variable K map. The first K map is for sum. So, uh, um, from the two table, we are having uh, ones in the place of uh, 1, 2, 4, 7. So, we have to plot 1 in the place of 1. Actually, these are the decimal values. 0, 1, 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 7, 6. How we are getting this decimal value is, the value of this cell is 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0 is nothing but the the <coughs> binary value of 4. So, we have plotted ones in the respective places in the sum k map. So, here also if you want, you can write here y bar z bar y bar z y z y z bar similarly x bar x. So, <coughs> you uh, we have plotted the ones. Now, you are uh, these ones. Do you have any adjacent ones in this K map? 
whether there is any adjacent one there is no adjacent one so you can't group it we can't go for either pair or um, quad or octet we can't go so we have to group it individually so we have to group it individually so expression for this one is for this one is x bar so x bar y bar z x bar y bar z okay then for this one is x bar y z bar x bar y z bar for this one is x y bar z bar and for this one is x y z now this expression here this full adder we will be implementing by using two half adders so in order to implement the full adder using two half adders we have to modify this expression so what we are doing is this is a expression what we get this is a expression what we get now we are going to um, reduce this expression so from the first two x bar is common so we have taken x bar common so remaining what you are having here is y bar is set and here you are having y is set bar so y bar is set and y is set bar similarly from the third and fourth term i am taking x common so i am getting y bar is you know, set bar plus y is set but this expression is similar to the expression of xr and this expression is similar to x naught this expression is similar to the expression of x r and this expression is similar to the expression of x naught so <clears throat> what i am writing is x bar into so this expression is similar to x r x r so i have replaced this by xr y xr is it now this expression is similar to x nor so this x this expression is similar to x nor so i have written as x nor so again this expression is in the form of again this expression is in the form of xr so this is a bar if you take this as a bar and you take y bar is set as b a bar b plus this is a and this is b bar so again this is of the form xr so i am again writing it as x xr y xr z so this expression is again in the form of xr so if you want you take this as p and this as q that is p bar q plus p q bar so what will be getting p x r q so what is p p is x so x x r what is q q is y x r z so you'll be getting x x r y x r z so we have modified the equation to sum is equal to x x r y x r z so this modification is in order to implement a full ladder by using two half adders so from the initial expression we have taken x bar common from the first two then x common from the next two then this while taking common uh, those expression will be common to x r and x naught then again that expression is um, uh, similar to xr so finally we got that sum is equal to x xr y xr z <coughs> so first uh, from these two we are taking x bar common then uh, this expression is similar to xr this similar uh, this expression is similar to x naught so we are writing it in the form of x r and x naught then again this term is in the form of x r so you are getting sum is equal to x x r y x r z now we are going for 
<coughs> came up for carry. For carry, we have got for um, you got uh, got for three five six and seven. So you got once in the place of three five six and seven. Now we are going for grouping. So here the ones are adjacent. Here the ones are adjacent, so we can group these two ones like this. Then these two ones you can like this, and you can group these two ones like this. Okay. So now the expression for this one is y z. This is y z. The expression for this group is x. In these two y. Then expression for this one is x or this group is x in these two this is x and in these two y is not changing so y for first group Here these two z is not changing, so you are getting x z plus y z plus x y. So we can check the expression is x y x y x. These two in the first group, this group, or one by one, we will, I will tell. For this one, the expression is y z. Plus for this group x here the change variable which is not changing is y y z plus x y and for next grouping x in these two the thing not changing is x z so we have got the group uh, expression so the expression is x y plus y z plus x z. So we have got the expression for sum and carry. So this is the expression for carry and this carry. And we are going to, in order to implement the uh, full adder using two half adder, we are also going to <coughs> modify this uh, carry x y expression for carry x y. So while doing this, you must be more care careful you should not do any modification in the term x y and you have to do modification in y z and x z so you should not do any modification in x y and you have to do modification in y z and x z now so here the literal x is missing and here y is missing here x is missing and here y is missing so we know that multiplying one with any number the value will not change so what is x plus x bar x plus x bar is one we have studied in the boolean last similarly what is y plus y bar it is one so multiplying one with any number its value will not change so what we are doing is we are going to multiply x plus the missing literal here is x so we are multiplying x plus x bar with this variable y z similarly we are multiplying y plus y bar with this variable x z so next we are multiplying this x y so we will be getting x into y z x y z then x x bar into y z so x bar y z so multiplying this x y z then x y bar z so two times you are having x y z we know that a plus a is equal to a so we have to take only one time 
so we have to consider only one time this x y z so we will be getting x y plus x y z plus x bar y z plus x y bar from the first two the term x y is common similarly from the third and the fourth term z is common so from the first two x y is common uh, uh, variables in blue color that is common in the third and fourth term the variables in green that is z is common and i am taking x y common from first two so here i am having one and here you are having z so one plus z i am getting so when i am taking z common from these two i will be getting x bar y plus x y bar so this x bar y plus <clears throat> x y bar is the is similar to the expression of uh, xr gate so instead of this i am writing it as xr and 1 plus z is 1 so i am getting carry is equal to x y plus z into x x r y So I am going to draw the logic diagram. So from the logic diagram, I am uh, drawing this. The expression for sum is x bar y bar z plus x bar y z bar plus x y bar z bar plus x y z. And for carry is x y plus y z plus x z. So we are going to implement the circuit. So, the first is x bar y bar, x bar first one a. You are having the expressions x bar y bar z, then x bar y z bar then x y bar z bar then x y z that this we have to implement first one x bar uh, y bar z so The first term is x bar y bar z. So this is x bar y bar z. This is x bar. This is y bar. And this is z. First term. Second term x bar y z bar. x bar y z bar. Second one. Third one x y bar z bar. This is the third one. x y bar z bar last one x y z this is x y z so we have to add all this this is sum similarly the carry that is x y y z x z so this is x y this is x uh, x z and this is y z we have to add odd so <laughs> we can draw it simply if you want i will so we can draw the so we can draw the circuit by our own so first how many inputs it is having three inputs so, so x so you draw x bar So then y then z. So while drawing you draw neatly but uh, in the mouse it's uh, difficult to draw it neatly. So while drawing in the exam and the node you draw it neatly. So I am having three inputs x, y and z. First one is 
we are having x bar y bar is said this term can be implemented by using and gate so x bar means you take from here x bar y bar then z means from here so you implement it using on and gate so then x bar y z x bar y z bar so implement it using a gate then x y x y bar z bar so this is y bar and this is z bar implemented it using a gate then x y z from x you draw it lengthily then no problem x x y z and you combine it and you give it to an or gate so you'll be getting some similarly you have to draw uh, carry carry means x uh, y then y z y z then x z you should not draw like this so below this you have to draw so this is your carry and this is your sum so this uh, this is also our gate you have to add all these things so these this you have to implement by using and gates and this plus this you have to implement by or gates so now this is the implementation by using and or gates so next i have already told you that uh, we have modified the output expressions of sum and carry now in order to make it for make it to draw using two half adders so first you have to draw one half adder and next you have to draw another half adder so the inputs are x y for the first one and this is z so this is the first half adder so you have to here what you'll be getting is x x r y so this output of first half adder you are connecting to the input of second half adder so here you'll be getting x x r y x r z now the output of the first and gate will be getting x y so here you are taking here you will be getting x x r y so this is z so output what will get getting means z into x x r y so here you are adding this x y plus this so you will be getting x y plus he said xr y so once again i am telling so the output what you are getting here it is x xr y and that you are xring with the z so you will be getting x xr y xr z that is nothing but the sum now carry here you will be getting x y here you are having x xr y x xr y here you are having z the output of this is x xr y x r z so you are adding this x y the output of this and gate and this and gate you are giving to an or gate so you'll be getting carry so this is implementation of half adder sorry implementation of full adder using two half adder you have to connect the output of the x r of the first half adder to the second half adder and you have to connect both the output of both the and, uh, and gates to an or gate you will be getting the carry so we have implemented full adder using two half adders next we will see how to implement uh, the full adder using nand gates so in order to uh, implement anything in uh, nand gates the uh, expression should be in sop that is and or and the circuit should be in the form of and or 
and or so here the uh, circuit is in and or so no problem so first we have to draw the circuit using and or in the next step what you have to do means we have to add bubbles to the bubble means we have to not output of output of the NAND gate and to the input of the OR gates. You have to put, put inverter, now bubbles, bubbles to the output of the AND gate and input of OR gates. It is nothing but double complementing, complementing two times. If you complement anything twice, its value will not change. So, you are adding bubbles to the output of the uh, AND gate and to the input of OR gate. Then by De Morgan's law, A bar plus B bar is equal to A plus B in the whole bar. This is nothing but OR gate with inverted input. This is nothing but NAND gate. So you can replace this by NAND gate. Similarly, you, you replace these inverters by NAND gates. So this is nothing but the implementation of full ladder using NAND gates. Similarly, we can implement the you, we can implement the full ladder using NOR gates. If you want to implement the uh, anything in NOR gates, then the circuit is should be in OR AND form. So, in order to make it to AND OR form, we have to take the complement of S. So, complement of S means wherever you are having complementary literal, wherever you are having bar. You have to unbar it. If you are having dot, make it as plus, and if you are having plus, make it as dot. That is and operation. And you have to find the complement. After complement, you implement the circuit. After implement, you add uh, bubbles to the output of uh, OR gates and to the input of NAND gate. After that, you convert that in um, AND gate with the inverted inputs with NOR gates. So you can implement by using NOR. Similarly, this carry. So you have to um, <coughs> uh, take the complement and uh, you have to make it to OR AND form and then you have to implement. Only thing what you have to remember is the expression what the, you are getting is nothing but S bar and C bar. So in order to get S, you have to finally you have to add one NOR gate to the output of S. Similarly, you have to add one NOR gate. This is not nothing but inverter. You have to add one NOR gate to the output of C. So only you will be getting C and S. The first thing is you have to take the complement of S and uh, C. You take the complement of S and C. Then you implement using OR gates and AND gates. Then you put bubbles to the output of OR gates and to the input of AND gates and you replace the AND gate with inverted input by NOR gates. Okay. Finally, you have to put one OR gate to the output. So, only you will be getting yes because we are, we are drawing this diagram for S bar and C bar. But our actual expression is S and C. So, you have to add an OR gate to the output. Okay. Next, we are going to see half subtractor. So, half subtractor is a combination circuit. It performs a subtraction of two bits. Similar to half adder, uh, the half subtractor will be performing subtraction. So, it is having two inputs A and B. In subtraction, if you are subtracting 5 minus 3, 5 is called minuend and 3 is called subtrahend. So, A is minuend and B is subtrahend. And it is having two outputs, one is difference and another one is borrow. So it is having two outputs, one is difference and another one is borrow. Okay. So it is it performs two bit subtraction. Now we are going to uh, draw the truth table. So already I have told it is having two inputs and two outputs. So since it is having two inputs, it will be having four combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, here we are going for subtraction. First one, 0 minus 0. 0 minus 0 is, difference is 0, borrow is 0. Next one, 0 minus 1. We can't subtract uh, 
<coughs> one from uh, zero. So you have to borrow one. So it will become one zero. One zero minus one is. So we are. We are going to see the again. See the next one. We are subtracting zero from one. So we can't subtract. So we are borrowing one. So when while borrowing one, we are getting one zero. One zero is two. Two minus one is one. So zero minus one is one one. Next is one minus zero. One minus zero is one. If our uh, borrow is zero. Next one one minus one. One minus one is zero. Difference zero. Borrow zero. Okay. So. Only tedious thing is zero minus one. We can't subtract zero minus one, so we have to borrow one. So while borrowing one, it becomes two. One zero is two. Two minus one is one. So we are getting difference as one and borrow as one. So um, this truth table is having two inputs and two outputs. So um, I already told you that this input indicates how much variable map you have to draw. So two variable you have to draw a two variable map. So since we are having two outputs, we have to draw two two variable k maps. One is for difference, and the second one is for borrow. This k k map is for difference. So uh, when you are checking the column of uh, when we are checking the column of difference, we are having one in the place of zero one and one in the place of one zero. And similarly, for borrow, you are having zero one. So, in the k-map of difference, we are having one in the place of zero one and one zero. This is zero one, and this is one zero. So, uh, these are not adjacent one. So, we can't group. So, the difference expression for difference is a bar b plus a. B bar. So similar to the half uh, adder, this expression is similar to the expression of um, XOR gate. So we can implement the difference by using XOR gate. Next is the K map for borrow. So for borrow, when you are checking the column, uh, uh, truth table of uh, half subtractor, and when you are checking the column of borrow, we are having one in the place of zero one. So we have plotted. <coughs> zero one. The zero. The zero one can't be. Uh, have to group individually. So the expression for this one is k bar b. So the expression what you got for difference is a bar b plus a b bar. It is nothing but a x r b. And for borrow is a bar b. So this is the expression. Uh, sorry, this is a logic diagram of half subtractor. This is a, a logic diagram of half subtractor by using XOR gates, XOR gate and AND gate. So, if you want to implement this uh, half subtractor by using NAND gate, then you have to draw it <coughs> by using AND OR gates. Okay, you have to take take the first expression that is A bar B plus uh, A B bar. And here a bar b for your uh, difference. Sorry, non difference borrow. So by using these expressions, you have to draw the diagram. Then you have to add your expression should be in uh, and or in order to uh, implement by using NAND gates. So you have to put bubbles to the outputs of AND gate and you have to put bubbles to the input of OR gate. And after that, you have to replace that uh, OR gate with inverted input with the and you get and you have to implement similar to your half subtractor okay sorry half adder so next one is next we are going to see full subtractor full subtractor is a combinational circuit which performs the subtraction of three bits similar to your full adder this full subtractor performs the subtraction of three bits it is having three inputs and two outputs the two outputs are the two uh, the two outputs are difference and 
bar o and the two inputs are the sorry three inputs are x is minu end and y is upper hand and z is a previous bar o so it is having three inputs and two outputs now we are going to see the uh, two table of <coughs> different uh, two table of the difference okay first is 0 minus 0 minus 0 so it is uh, 0 0 no problem next one 0 0 1 so first we have to subtract 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 is 0 then 0 minus 1 so we can't subtract 0 from 1 so you have to take a borrow so here you have to put a the borrow you have to put a 1 so when you are borrowing it will become 1 0 1 0 minus 1 is 1 so so 0 minus 0 minus 1 is 1 1 next we are going to see 0 next we are going to see 0 1 0 so 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 minus 1 so we can't subtract 0 minus 1 so you have to put get a borrow 1 so it will 1 0 1 0 minus 1 is 1 okay then we are going for 0 1 1 0 1 1 so first we have to take this one 0 minus 1 we can't subtract we have to get a borrow 1 so you have to take borrow 1 so 1 0 minus 1 is 1 so this 1 minus this 1 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so in the place of difference you will be getting 0 next to 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 so 1 minus 0 1 again 1 minus 0 1 so you'll be getting sum as, as difference as 1 and borrow as 0 next is 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 1 0 so difference 0 borrow 0 Next, you have to take 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is also 0. So, again, you will be getting 0, 0. Then, 1, 1, 1. So, first you take 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, then this 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1, we can't subtract. So, you have to borrow 1. So, it will become 1, 0. 1, 0 minus 1 is 1. So we are we got the two table like this. So so if you want, I will take any one and I will I take this one again. Zero one one. So zero minus one. We can't. First you take these two. Zero minus one. We can't. Subtract. So you have to borrow 1. So you have to borrow 1. So when you are borrowing 1, it will become 2. 2 minus 1, 1. So this 1 minus here you are having 1. So 0. So difference is 0. Similarly, you take 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. 1 minus 0, 1. Then 1 minus 1, 0. So you will be getting 0, 0. So, like this, you will be getting the 